There's no branch of medicine that exists where a dead organ is left in, except in dentistry where a root canal is left in. If you think that you can get away with an infected toxic tooth and not have a systemic consequence, I think you're deluding yourself. This is the day my whole life went to shit. The vast majority of chronic degenerative diseases begin with problems in the mouth. Unfortunately, the uh, dental schools look at the mouth as being a mannequin and that you can do any type of procedure without any direct impact on the rest of the body, but this is the farthest thing from the truth. I'm really not exaggerating. Panic attacks gave way to chronic fatigue. I was a wreck, a total lost cause. I went searching for answers. What if I could tell you that 98% of women that have breast cancer have a root canal tube on the same side as their breast cancer? Of the people that come to see me with chronic illness, the question is how many of them have a dental cause of their illness? I would say almost all of them. Currently, we have roughly 25 million new root canal procedures being done a year in the United States. One of the greatest public health interventions we could possibly do is to make the root canal procedure something of the past because it does nothing positive for the general health of the body at all. I'm just one guy, and this is my truth. That truth has set me free. So I didn't want my truth to just be a minority of one. Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I did a review of the documentary, The Root Cause, just a couple of weeks ago, and now it has been scrubbed from the internet. Well, it was just a couple weeks ago, I did a review of the movie, The Root Cause, and uh, it, it shows you that when you have a root canal, what happens is they close off that, that root canal from the immune system of the body, so the immune system can no longer get to it. If you think that you can get away with an infected toxic tooth and not have a systemic consequence, I think you're deluding yourself. The vast majority of chronic degenerative diseases begin with problems in the mouth. Unfortunately, the uh, dental schools look at the mouth as being a mannequin and that you can do any type of procedure without any direct impact on the rest of the body, but this is the farthest thing from the truth. And it begins to also show you the inner connectivity of the human body. For instance, the teeth are all related to different parts of the body. I thought it was a fascinating documentary. I recommended it to several people and then they started contacting me and saying, you know, this is not on Netflix. What are you talking about? Are you sure? And they looked all over and nobody could find it. I checked into this and there's really a not a lot of information out there about why this actually happened. Um, I got online. Here's an article from The Guardian. Uh, you know, Dennis and Enodonis and dental researchers are warning Netflix, Apple, Amazon, and Vimo to remove a documentary that, that spreads fear and misinformation about the safety of root canals and extracting wisdom teeth. But they're warning them. Well, they're threatening. They're not warning them. They're threatening them with major lawsuits. That's what's going on here. There's no doubt about it whatsoever. It didn't take very, me very long to figure out who was behind this. It was the ADA. American Dental Association. And here it is, the American Dental Association, ADA, along with the American Association of Endonanus and the American Association of Dental Research, uh, warned the media companies in a private letter that uh, they should stop showing this film. Okay, I bet you they warned them. What kind of a private letter was that? How about we're going to sue you and you're going to take away all your money if you keep showing this documentary? I just want to say, 
uh, how many documentaries are out there with unbelievable amounts of misinformation and how many are out there and I have never once heard of any documentary ever being removed from anywhere anytime ever but this one this one they had to take down immediately and then finally Netflix declined a request for comment Apple Amazon and Vimo did not respond to repeated requests for a comment so this is this they've been all loyal lawyered up here and they've been told to shut up now let's just get something very clear here I don't know what's going on I mean maybe this was all completely uh, some incredible misinformation just just you know a big hoax you know Weston Price and the information in the in the research he did it in back in the 1920s that was a hoax what if I could tell you that 98 percent of women that have breast cancer have a root canal tube on the same side as their breast cancer of the people that come to see me with chronic illness, the question is how many of them have a dental cause of their illness? I would say almost all of them. And this whole thing is a hoax. You know, Mercola was in this, Dr. Mercola, and he's a hoax. I don't really think so, but maybe he is. Actually, the ADA. Let me just make two points here about the American Dental Association. This is the same group that gives us fluoride in our water. So if you're wondering why is there fluoride in this in in our water? Fluoride we hear is, is so bad. It's you know it's a rat poison. It 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 calcifies your your brain. It calcifies your pineal gland. It's it, why do they put it in the water? There's no really uh, there's no evidence that actually stops dental decay. Why why do they have to stick this in all the water so we have to drink it? Fluoride in our community water is a good thing. Here's why. Community water fluoridation is considered one of 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. In fact, over 100 national health organizations recognize the public health benefits of fluoride in our community water. There's irrefutable evidence that the U.S. military, the Manhattan Project, the makers of the atomic bomb, concealed evidence of fluoride's harm to their workers, to the community, and to the American public. One study was published in the journal of the American Dental Association in 1948 by Dale. In these files, Manhattan Project Captain Peter Dale at the University of Rochester reported preliminary results of dental investigations among laboratory fluoride workers at Columbia University. He concluded that fluoride did not prevent cavities in the 95 laboratory workers examined. Quote, their teeth seemed to be deteriorating rapidly, and their gums bled more freely. In fact, most of the hydrofluoric acid workers examined had few or no teeth left. They were in large part toothless or nearly toothless. This information, however, was left out of the published version. The published study merely notes that the fluoride workers had fewer cavities than did the unexposed workers. They didn't mention the fact that they had fewer cavities because their teeth had fallen out of their mouths. That's the American Dental Association. So if you, if a municipality doesn't have it in their water, let me tell you something. If they think about it, the ADA will come in there and I guarantee you they will convince that city council to put it into their water and they will do it. So people are making a lot of money, billions of dollars off of fluoridation and the ADA is, ADA is always promoting it. Well, I think it's bad. I wish they wouldn't put it in there. I saw a lot, a lot of fluoride remover filters, fluoride filters that remove that. People hate it, uh, but they insist on putting it in. And this is also the group, the American Dental Association, who tells us we can continue to put mercury fillings in our teas, and it's a different type of mercury, and don't worry, and there's no evidence whatsoever that mercury could possibly cause you any kind of a problem whatsoever. Well, let me tell you something, folks. Uh, as you know, I sell chlorella and I sell spirulina, and there's four heavy metals that people look at very, very closely, and they are lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. And if you have the slightest amount of mercury in my spirulina or my chlorella or really any of the other supplements that I sell, that's not going out on the market. Okay, we have very, very strict letter, levels for all those foods, and here they are insisting you put them in your mouth. I'm the former consumer representative on the dental products panel at the FDA. If amalgam is taken to a class three by the FDA, class three would require manufacturers to prove safety, which they never had to do. They're not going to spend the millions of dollars to try to prove that mercury is safe when everyone knows it isn't. All product claims made on packaging and labeling are approved by the ADA, so you can trust them. These amalgams, what they call amalgams in this. So here's the ADA come in with its heavy hand to remove this documentary, and I'll say it again, I have seen 
you know, hundreds of documentaries out there that are very dubious, very questionable. Some of them are just laughable. And if you want to make a political point about something, just make a documentary. Documentaries can say anything. But suddenly the facts in this one need to be challenged. And instead of coming out with counter facts, with, 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 a, with another documentary to refute all this and tell everybody to, that this is safe, no, the ADA and these other groups came out and said, you take this down or we are going to come down here and sue the crap out of you. I'm positive that's what happened. And it's really pretty sad. Now, I've had a couple of root canals, um, and the first one is still in there. The second one, I ended up having the, the tooth removed. I would never get a root canal. Uh, you can go back to my first video, and you, I, I can tell you why. If you have gotten a, a root canal, I recommend you use a lot of silver so you can get at that tooth. From this angle, because it's blocked off from the rest of the immune system, at least according to the root cause it is, and uh, then you can go in there and the silver can get at the tooth and get that abscess and really, uh, you know, get that, that infection out of your mouth once and for all. So would I ever get a root canal again? Absolutely not. I never would, but it's your decision. I just find it really, really odd and I really find it disparaging that the ADA and these other groups got to come in here and just get this removed. Okay, and 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 with you know really nobody else is talking about it, and they quietly did it. I'm glad I saw this documentary when I had the chance. The root cause, um, I'm sure you probably could find her out there somewhere. But when something like this happens and this kind of uh, this kind of shenanigans where they just take something down, I find that fishy, very very fishy. Doctor Bob, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my health updates.